for the Ugly Kitchen Countertop Reveal. Oh man, oh man. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Welcome back to Humble Homemaking. We are standing in my tiny little kitchen right now and I am in the process of cleaning up the countertops, cleaning everything off of them because we are going to be doing a DIY kitchen countertop remodel on a budget. Should be fun. My husband is going to assist me with the power tools and probably help me with a lot of stuff. But uh, we just decided that it should be a fun video to record the process and um, I'm posting this whether this works or not. So, you know, this isn't just a I'm only posting this because it worked thing. You really have to stick around and find out if this worked or not. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to show you the beautiful weather that we are having here in the Northwest so snowy and so pretty to look at probably not very fun to drive in but luckily I don't drive that often so I'm not complaining and I'm from Michigan where it snowed ten times more than this and was way colder than what it is outside currently. so let's go see the snow I'm just gonna open this to show you all of this snow. Let me show you these ugly countertops now. They are a light blue and there's lots of knife marks in them because the previous owners used these countertops as cutting boards so there's all kinds of little gouges that you can feel with your hand. And then this ugly mark right here is from me using super glue on the counter and then getting the bright idea to wipe it up with a cotton ball then the cotton ball got stuck in the super glue and then it hardened and I thought hey let me use a Dremel tool so I tried to use the Dremel tool and that was the result. Bad idea, don't do that.
Then I took some gold leaf sheets and put them into a big Ziploc baggie, sealed it up, and then crushed them up into gold flakes so that we could sprinkle them all over top of the counters while they were wet still so that they would stick to the paint. And this was kind of a little spur of the moment thing. I've had these things lying around for forever and I just decided why not use them for this. So that's what I'm doing here is sprinkling them all over the countertops randomly. And for the backsplash part, I just took them by the handfuls and I kind of just flicked them at the backsplash. We let that dry and then we moved on to the next step. We took white acrylic paint and a natural sponge and we just started to blot the white paint all over the countertops. I had a lot of counter space to go still and I was like, um, honey, I don't know what I'm doing. I need your help. This doesn't look right. This is not what I pictured. And he came to my rescue and he started to help me and he showed me the technique. And eventually it started to look like this. The glaze we used is from Lowe's, but I know they sell it on Amazon, so I will link that down below. It is a part A, part B epoxy mixture, so we just mixed it up into three Dixie cups because we didn't have a vessel large enough to fit all of the epoxy in that we were willing to give up. So we just used the three separate cups, which turned out to be a good thing because then we were able to show an example of what happens when you mix it too fast. Now in the directions, they do say that you should heat up the sides of the cups or the sides of the vessel with a blow dryer so that the air bubbles all rise to the surface and pop so that way there's no little air bubbles in it. And so the two that he's doing right now turned out to be just fine, but this one we stirred way too quick. So that's what happens. It gets all cloudy and it takes a lot longer for the air bubbles to pop because there's so many in there. So then once that was done, we were then able to pour them onto the counters and they say to use a paint spatula, a plastic spatula, to move it around the countertops, but I didn't have a second spatula, so I just used a large popsicle stick that I use for crafts and stuff, so that was very messy. I do recommend that you wear gloves with this stuff. I didn't have any, so shame on me. Splash to apply the glaze. I just used a sponge brush and I just painted it on there. After the glaze, we let it cure completely for 72 hours, and this is the result. <laughs>
looking way better than they were. So a few things I would definitely do differently would be to do the edges of the countertops so that it would give the look that it was a full slab of granite instead of just the surface of granite. And then I can still do that, but I'm just gonna paint everything else white in here. And then the second thing I would definitely do would be to measure the counter surfaces better for the glaze because there are some spots that I will show in this clip right here that they're a little uneven and you can see the texture of the paint and that's not what we were going for. Just spread the glaze very thinly in some areas because we didn't have enough and when it's self-leveled it basically drops down even more in some spots. So that's not really that big of a deal. We just order another box of the glaze for $22 and do another layer over top of that. And then um, also would the a few other tips would be to be definitely put down drop cloths on the floors. We didn't do that and luckily it dropped down on the hard floor so it was easy to clean up as long as we caught it right away. But drop cloths definitely I would if I could turn back time it'd be dropping some drop cloths down on the floor. And that is pretty much it. That we feel that this looks a lot better than they did and the surface is nice and shiny and smooth just like we wanted it and i will keep you all updated on instagram as time passes to let you know how this counter stands up if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and i will happily answer them for you this project from start to finish took about five hours to do with the help of my husband if i did it on my own it'd probably be a little bit longer than that but so grateful that he helped me out. So I hope you all enjoyed this little DIY video. There will be more home projects in the future to come. And I'm just really excited about those because those are a lot bigger and cooler and you guys might like those. I am off to go and drink another cup of coffee and make some lunch. And if you like this mug, this mug is made from my friend Bernadine Barber. Her website is bernadinebluntly.com. You can get that mug there. I am not affiliated. I just like to share this mug because it's my favorite mug. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.